from my suave exterior. But I got the fear. This is a generic Republican president, and I'm here to calm your fears. You see, we Republicans, we do want to get our little talons on the White House again, to help further degenerate the country, to feed more wealth into the hands of the super rich, game the system against the workers as much as we can, and attack women. Attack women! I'm a Republican, I hate women! I'm a Republican! Must attack women! Must force them to have babies! Must take away their reproductive life! I'm a Republican! Attack all women! Attack all women! Oh, did I just say attack all women? Well, let's... <laughs> I forgot myself. But you needn't fear me, the generic Republican president. I will not invade Iran within five minutes of taking the oath of office. It's not true, and I, your generic Republican president, hopefully, uh, I, I will not invade Iran five freaking seconds after taking the freaking oath of office. <gasps> That's a promise, and I will not Forget about the deficit. Would you like to hear a joke? Boo! Uh, this is a Republican president. <laughs> what is the shortest measurable unit of time? Give up? The amount of time it will take your next Republican president to forget all about the deficit. Okay. I don't see why you're afraid of me. I'll only invade a couple, three countries a year. As your generic Republican president, I promise, okay, we're not going to invade Iran for at least a nanosecond. And we are not going to attack women. Women! Attack all women! Attack all women! Republicans! Women are coming! Attack them! Attack them! I did, did I just say attack all women? Okay, well please forget that I, a generic Republican, under whom women's health always suffers horribly. Women, attack! Just kidding about that, attack women. And I, your next Republican president, am not obsessed with gays. Gays, gays. Not obsessed. Name. Name. Not obsessed with gays. Name. Name. Attack gays. Attack gays. Attack women. Attack aliens. Oh. Hey, I'm your next Republican president. 
And I'm assuaging your fears, baby. I'm like allaying your fears. I will not attack women for at least five minutes. <gasps> I will not invade Iran. Oh, what am I saying? I will do nothing but invade Iran. I'm a Republican president. I live to invade. Arr! Well, there he goes, Jim. He's a Republican president. He was born to invade. What? This is the whisper in your head. Perry's not here right now. Perry, do you really have a PhD? Yes, I really have a PhD. I, I persuaded UCLA to give me a PhD. I am not a professor, but I do have a PhD. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Perry. What? Why are people Afraid of Republicans. Hey, are people afraid of Republicans? Hmm. Hey, did I catch you off guard with that question? Think about that. <laughs> Keep thinking about that. Yes. People today on February 16th, it's February 16th, 2012. Forgive the rudeness of an old recluse, all right? Hi, uh, forgive the rudeness uh, of an old recluse and thank you for watching. Please, take off your clothes. It's part of the sensual pleasure of a Perry Logan show. Okay, well, yes, I, I can safely say that normal people are afraid of Republicans these days. Hey, hey, don't give me any grief. You're all naked. We're talking about fear. And I do think that normal human beings at this in this time space frame. Normal human beings on the planet Earth are in and around February 16th, 2012 are afraid of Republicans. Hey, I'll bet if we got a psychiatrist on this show or, you know, someone who'll pose as a psychiatrist. <laughs> they will tell you that there's a big problem today in America with, like, republicophobia. Republicophobia. A <laughs> wonderful, a wonderful. Uh, we find that we have been afraid of all Republican presidents since Richard Nixon. How about that, Dick? Oh, uh, this is Richard Nixon. I'm not a crook. Well, okay, I am a crook. Uh, this is Richard Nixon. I was kind of a crook. I think it's pretty clear the uh, Republican Party went bad with me. If it weren't for Jerry Ford's pardon, I, Richard Nixon, would have died in jail. Think about it. A wonderful, a wonderful. That was a Dick Nixon. Tricky Dick. Tricky Dick Nixon, you see?
Now, a nation that calls its president Tricky Dick. Now, that's a nation a little down on its president. Why would that be? Well, well, because we were afraid of him. We, he was a scary guy, you know, because he was just very slippery. Get her like a fish or an eel or just a whole lot of snot. He was slippery. He was tricky dick. Explaining, but we are actually in a serious situation. It's not funny. Slippery dick is slippery as an eel, is slippery as snot! Uh, excuse me, sometimes uh, unkind people call Bill Clinton Slick Willie. <clears throat> Same to you, pal. Well, it, what is Slick Willie? Uh, what is Slick Willie but a direct steal from Chicky Dick? It, Slick Willie is a steal from Tricky Dick. I'm finally saying it. Perry Logan is certainly celebrating the fact that he was courageous enough on February 16th, 2012 to state the obvious. Slick Willie is a direct steal from Tricky Dick. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, the first court of political rhetoric hereby uh, pronounces that Slick Willie is a direct steal from Tricky Dick. <laughs> okay, but getting back to the real thing is that uh, Richard Nixon was so tricky, so duplicitous, so, well, Slick Willie. He was Slick Dick Willie. He was Slicky Dicky. And he was so sneaky, you know, that, that he would stay in the Oval Office to keep from getting cornered. And, and he was like, he, he would have gone to jail. He would have probably died in jail. Possibly on the toilet. Visualize Richard Nixon dying in jail on the toilet. Okay. Well, anyway, Tricky Dick was, he was the first time we had like a crooked lawyer in the White House. This was the Republicans' idea of a freaking candidate. And from then on, it's been getting worse, you see. With almost without exception, each Republican president, and there have been several since slick, mucoid, Ew. sleazy, slippery, ticky dick who died on the toilet in jail. In a parallel universe. They tell us there are parallel universes where anything that you can conceive happened, there is therefore one, nay, an infinite number of parallel universes where Chicky, Slicky, Slippery Dick, Willy Dick Nixon died on a toilet in prison as he should have. That's what I'm saying. Perry, what's the deal? Well, uh, it's not that Dick Nixon, Dick Nixon, was as bad as what we have now. But he began the uh, descent into, like, total terror of Republicans. Fear of Republicans. E e nothing to be ashamed of, okay? In fact, if you're not afraid of Republicans, uh, for example, uh, of another Republican getting into the White House... That's a lot of freaking fear. I heard the fear there, and I know that when I said to you, I was like, here, and you're watching, and I said, visualize another Republican getting into the White House. Fear. Yes, fear. It's the fear of Republicans from which all normal people suffer, and if you don't have this fear, 
We're going to make you disappear. Ooh, oh. Did someone just disappear? Welcome to uh, America in the age of Obama. Yeah. I am talking about fear of Republicans, but there's a weird thing going on right now, you see, whereby a guy who said, and I mean publicly said, he admired Ronald Reagan, is president. <laughs> this is one of the things I'm holding against Barack Obama. And so it came to pass. Republicans uh, just kept getting more and more scary until we reached the kind of like zenith of, of Republicophobia uh, under Bush Cheney. All right? Dick! Hello! This is Dick Cheney! Call me Slippery Dick and I'll shoot you in the goddamn face! I'm Dick Cheney. I'm one damn good reason. Everybody is damn afraid of us goddamn Republicans. You see, we will shoot anybody. We will invade anywhere. And don't forget that deficit monster, huh? Vote Republican or the deficit monster will eat your brains, kids. I'm ah, sorry, ah. kids. The deficit monster is not real. Oh. Okay, okay, we're calm, but you see, I'm living in a world where, uh, you know, if you're not afraid, of Republicans, then you need to be committed. <laughs> Look at it this way, just to kind of like telescope the whole thing. Uh, by the time we got to Bush Cheney, in case you forgot, the government, the Republicans, well, they started spying on us illegally. Oh, then later made it legal, okay? But they started spying on us in an unprecedented way. They started torturing us. Some of us, some citizens were tortured. They started illegally detaining us. They bloody did not care. And of course, because there were Republicans, we had more wars. We had a couple of more wars, okay? And that's why, you see, now we're not just afraid of Republicans. We're like scared spiritless of Republicans, for God's sake! There you go, kids. You see what drugs can do to you? well against Barack Obama in the poll. But that was surprisingly deep uh, in such a silly show, mm. don't you think? Bizarre times we live in. Uh, and yes, I guess there is a uh, apparent problem with my argument, which is that uh, the Republicans do seem to be, uh, in my opinion, closer than they ought to be to Obama in the poll. I believe a generic Republican, we, we have been hearing from a generic Republican here and there in an effort to assuage our fear of these people. Uh, but, you know, if we're so afraid, why uh, are the Republicans kind of, I would say, relatively close? This despite the fact that the Republican field in the primaries is like one great big bizarro world clown car. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Republicans are so bad, they're candidates, I love them, but they're so silly and so bad and wackadoodle that they are Obama's best friends. 
and I am a, an intransigent, intransigent critic of Obama. Okay, and this brings us around to uh, the, the possible flaw in this fear of Republicans motif would be, uh, well, they shouldn't be close to Obama. People should be saying, oh, no, you don't. We don't want the deficit monster to eat the brains of our children. We don't want to invade Iran. <laughs> and we just don't like it. You gotta understand, when you guys, you Republicans, start going, attack women! Attack women! Forced to do have babies! We will be happy only when women are forced to have babies, and there's a gun under every bloody pillow, and there's no, like, bleeding public health, and of course, fracking everywhere! Fracking everywhere! Fracking everywhere! Fracking everywhere! Okay, now, the reason, <laughs> the reason uh, uh, the Republicans are not as far behind uh, Obama is that Obama is very right-wing. This is my big argument. I, I get into trouble all the time. I hope you s sympathize with me. I get beat up, so to speak, all the time hanging around my mates on the left. Yay! You may find me on the internet hanging around with my mates on the left trying to explain things like why we've got to vote third party. And I get beat up for uh, saying we should vote third party. And honest to God, I get called a racist for saying we should vote third party, which seems to me kind of like a no-brainer right there. Hey, what about you? Well, I am hoping, well, unless you're a sociopath or, or you're just refusing to put two and two together, you're terrified of a very real prospect, and that is a, 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 another Republican president. Listen to the fear. What a fearful show. By easily my most fearful show. Hey, Repubs, here's another thing. We are afraid of you because of your uh, hatred of women. Oh, come on. Here's my impersonation of the next Republican president. Hi, I'm your next Republican president. Doesn't matter who. <laughs> Attack women! Attack women! Keep them from contraception! Force them to have babies! We will only be safe when the women are forced to have babies! We're Republicans. Don't be afraid. <coughs> We're not degenerates who hate women and want to force them to have babies. Uh, this is, I'm sorry, did I say attack women? I didn't mean it when I said attack women. <laughs> And I'm not obsessed with gays. Gays, 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 g